So, Jorge, there is just one winter test remaining, and then we'll start playing harder. Are you satisfied with Yamaha's engineering job? Yeah, the, the engineers in, in Japan, they made a great job, especially with the, the new chassis. Now we, we got a chassis that uh, in the corners uh, is more easy to, to pick up the bike, so you gain some, some speed. Uh, now the main goal for, for us is to improve the engine. That is uh, our target to, to become even faster. What is your M1 still missing today to become the perfect bike? The engine is probably the, the, the weakest point we have now. So little by little we are trying new things uh, to improve and to, to increase this acceleration uh, in the seat of the corners. That uh, probably is the, the point we lose a little bit uh, comparing to, the, to our competitors. But not so much, not so much uh, comparing to 2011, for example, we are much better. More so than the past, the coming season appears to be pretty tough. What's your opinion about your major rivals, Valentino, Pedrosa and Marquez, after the pre-season tests? Well, they all are really strong, really strong riders with a lot of experience, a uh, lot of world titles altogether, especially Valentino have uh, nine world titles and, and more than 100 victories. So he's really strong, very complete. So on the race, uh, he can change his uh, strategy so quickly. Pedrosa is extremely fast, uh, not only for one lap, but also he got a lot of uh, constant pace during a race. And then Marquez comes from Moto2 with uh, uh, a lot of energy. Uh, he's really aggressive and he has, I think, everything for, for being a top rider also in MotoGP from the beginning. Last year, your worst result was a second place. Was that the secret for achieving the title? Yeah, I think to, to be world champion, you must be constant. It's impossible to crash so many times and finally being champion. It's very, very difficult. So one of the keys to, to being world champion is to, to finish almost every race, if it's possible. Uh, last year, we finished every race on the podium, uh, uh, apart from Asen that uh, I crashed and, and also last race in Valencia when, when already I was champion. So yeah, it was um, one thing I have to solve in my first years in MotoGP. I wasn't a, a constant rider, but finally, uh, after so many crashes, so many injuries, I understood that uh, to, be, to be world champion I needed to, to achieve these uh, constant uh, results I, I have now. How different is Jorge Lorenzo, the reigning world champion today, compared to the rider and person you were at the end of the 2010 season? Well, just, just past two years, so not much, not much time has passed. So a person in two years uh, doesn't change so much, but uh, you know, I try always to, to, to improve myself as a person and as a rider. And as a rider, in 2010, I, I made a almost perfect season, achieving the, the record of points. But you know, I have some, some, some benefits in my bag that uh, give me uh, advantage compared to my, rival, my rivals. That for example, last year, I, I, I didn't have, or I have much less. So for me, last year was more difficult than 2010. And I, I have the, the, the cold mind to, to keep to keep uh, being strong when the, the situation were really difficult. No? The first time you won the World Championship in 2010, you switched to the number one on the bike. Why haven't you this year? The, the first year I became MotoGP World Champion, I wanted to use the number one. Uh, I was really excited to use it because it was the, the first time I could use it in a MotoGP bike. Uh, but it doesn't give me very good luck uh, even if I finish second, that is a very good position. I didn't win, so with the 99, I, I got uh, two world titles. So also is my number. Uh, the fans know me much better with this number, so I decided to to use it this this year again. If you win the 2013 championship, you will equal Wayne Rainey's score with three world titles. Is this a stimulus for you? Yes, of course. Wayne Rainey is one of the legends of MotoGP and to equal his, his number of world titles for me would be a great honor. But before we have to, to do it, 
Also, Wayne is, uh, is a friend of mine, so for sure to, to become three-time world title will be amazing, will be like a dream, no? uh, much more than, than I ever expected. Does Valentino's arrival worry you or motivate you? How is your relationship with him now? Uh, I think it's, it's, it's better than three years ago. Uh, now we are a little bit older, so more mature. Uh, uh, mainly in my case, because when I came into MotoGP, I was only 20. So we don't need to be, you know, like friends, because we, the moto, motorcycle is not like uh, soccer or basketball. But uh, anyway, if the relationship is, is good, it's much better for, for both and, and for the team. So we are going to try to, to, stay, to stay calm and to, to push together in the same direction. What do you think Valentino's arrival will bring to the team and to the bike? I think uh, so much experienced rider like him, uh, with this special feeling he has to, to feel everything when he got into the track, Will help us to uh, will help us to the engineers in Yamaha and, and also to me to, to understand if the, the feeling I have when I when I try something new on the bike is uh, is also the feeling he has. No, it's very important because if one rider feels one thing and another rider feels uh, a completely different different feeling, it's different. It's difficult to 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 improve the bike. No, and for sure in the last test of Japan. We, we had very similar uh, feelings in the new pieces, so this will bring us power to improve the, the future bike. Casey Stoner left and Marc Marquez has arrived. Who's going to be the strongest rival for you this year? Oof, it's difficult to, to predict one, one major rival for next year. Probably uh, they they will be faster than me, so they will be, they will be my rivals for me, uh, these three or, 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 or more riders. I don't know. I don't know what is going to happen. Uh, I think uh, we all four are the favorites, you know, Danny, myself, uh, Valentino, Marquez, we are, we are the favorites, but uh, some surprise can happen uh, by the, the beginning of the year to, to the end. So. We, we never know, so it's, it's important to, to make a good job during the pre-season, to be as maximum as, as possible prepared to start in the best way possible. Besides Valentino, but considering Marquez, it's going to be a Spanish affair this year. How important is it for you to be the first Spanish rider at the end of the season? Yeah, I think for every rider, you always have some, some little competition between the riders who, who have the same nationality than you. Uh, it's like uh, another league in the same championship uh, and of course to have so many Spanish riders with a strong potential like we have now is, uh, is really difficult for, for everyone who is Spanish to, to become the first one and for sure to have, to have Dani, to have Mark, to have Alvaro uh, there so fast is, is difficult to, for me to finish in front of them. Did the renewal with Yamaha for two more years give you an extra motivation to win the championship last year? Yeah, mo more than motivation, I think to sign the, the contract for the next two years gave me... I've been more, more quiet no? to, to focus in the championship and don't, don't think too much about the, the, the conditions of the new contract and, and these this kind of things. You signed with a new personal sponsor, Monster Energy Corporation, who has also been introduced as an official sponsor of Yamaha Factory Racing. Are you happy with the new agreement? Yeah, I'm really happy to sign a personal agreement with, with Monster and to, to, to be part of the Monster family. I'm really happy that uh, Yamaha get this, this uh, agreement too. So I think, uh, I hope that together we can, uh, we can give them a lot of uh, special moments. Recently, we read in the press that you're considering retirement. Is it true? Is your career going to be as short as Casey's or as long as Capirossi's? I don't know why, why this is on the press, but uh, my, my objective, my goal is uh, to keep enjoying MotoGP as long as, as possible. Uh, now I, I sign, last year I signed two more years in, to be with Yamaha. I would like to spend much more years with them 
So hopefully, um, if the injuries uh, respect me, I would like to stay so many years in MotoGP.